the old dog proof tracks again got a cocoon keeping the train rolling I got a couple of dog proofs on this this old this is draining out of that pond where I caught the beaver yesterday and you see there's old beaver dam right here I got a dog proof here and then dog proof over there by the creek but then I've also got a cotton bear sitting right under that fence and it's knocked over so Got us another beaver. I mean, that's perfect in that old Belial. She didn't even move. And that's just, I didn't do anything. I just set that 330 right there. It blocked that hole. And that's just a, where the creek was flowing under the fence line. It looked like a perfect little spot. I was thinking otters, but uh, I'll take a beaver too. I'll put it back there and we'll catch hopefully maybe another beaver and or some otters. Hmm, something ain't good here. So what happened here I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on obviously I lost something but that was heck I was trying to figure out if that's a freaking pig toe or what that's rabbit feet I had a rabbit by the front two feet presumably old Wiley came through here and got him a free meal but hopefully that'll mean he'll come back again I rode by my set here on the pond dam and I've got something. It's a 3.30 crossing the slide. I'm pretty sure it's an otter, but I'm gonna come check. And that is definitely an otter. You can see his pale chin there. And he didn't budge. That Bilal didn't move at all. That is exactly what I was hoping. I did sweeten this up a little bit. I, uh, after I caught the beaver, I, or the otter, I caught the other otter way up there at the top end of the pond. After I caught him, and I'm hoping that we might have something up there, but after I caught him, I came down, I set this trap and uh, put some crawfish oil and, whoa, about fell, and a little otter gland on there to try to sweeten it up. I did the same thing at the bottom so you could see I mean, this slide is a heck of a slide, and then going into the pond here, I was really hoping when I saw him on the top side, I was going to have another one here. I don't, but we got some more traps on the, the top side of the pond, so we'll see what else we got, if we got anything else up there. I'm going to expand my trap line a little bit. I've got some crawfish traps that I made up, and I've got... A couple little old backwater areas here that uh, I'm gonna try to set some of these crawfish traps out. I've got some ham hock, and uh, you know I've trapped I, as a kid just piddling around in little creeks and stuff. I made crawfish traps and put them out, and you know I caught little old crawfish, a handful of them. Uh, but when I lived in Arkansas, South Arkansas, and you know, eating crawfish is a big thing down there in Louisiana. And uh, I, I like the heck out of crawfish, uh, but I've never caught big crawfish like that in any number. So uh, I've just been tinkering around with it, and this looked like a good spot. So I'm going to try it out and add another little thing to the trap line and see, uh, see if we can catch enough crawfish to warrant doing anything with. So we got one more trap to check here at the house. I just got a little, well, it's a big cage trap. I know we got some foxes around. I got some pictures of some gray foxes and red foxes. So we got it set back right up here in the woods off of this old logging road, old woods road. And check it and see what we got around out today. Come on, bud. What? I'll go, boss. What is it? We saw a fox. Yeah, we got a fox, didn't we? Yeah. Look at there, got us a nice red fox. Wow. All right. Yeah. And that's a that's a big cage trap. I was using I set that purposely just to see what kind of what we would get in there if I get a I figured a gray fox. I wasn't sure about a red fox, so 
That's awesome. We got some more skinning to do. Getting my nightly skinning session in. Got a pretty good bit to skin. Uh, skin tonight. And the red fox was a nice, uh, a nice surprise to get home and see. So, um, but I don't know. I don't know if you've noticed, um, and I haven't even got on to, to check. But I got a new uh, video camera. I actually got a video camera. Um, up to now, all my videos have been I've been using a DSLR, um, which worked good. I mean, it, it produces good video, but it's definitely um, it's not the easiest thing, especially to self film um, with. So, um, but I got a, a new. It's a 4K video camera, which I've been pretty pumped about. And so I, my first two vid posts that I made, um, and then, well, I guess my third post kind of was probably, was almost back to back from my second post the same, the same night. Both of them posted last night, I think. And that's one thing that I didn't realize um, with 4K is how big those files are and how much time it takes. Um, so I... You know, I, I take all these videos and edit them together in the evenings and then produce them into one single video. And that was taken, usually that, with with just a HD video, that doesn't take too long. But with the 4K videos, it took over an hour to produce a 14-minute video. Um, so that wasn't too big of a deal, though. I, I got that done. Then, when I went on to upload to YouTube, and I always, we don't have super fast internet, we've got decent internet, but we don't have super fast internet, so to keep peace in my family, because we watch, you know, we got Netflix and all, we watch all our TV through the internet, I always wait till everybody goes to bed to upload my video so that I'm not slowing down the internet, because uploading takes a lot of, a lot of time and a lot of bandwidth. And so if I'm uploading, none of the other stuff works right. Everything's going real slow. So stay on the good side, everybody's good side as much as I can during trapping season. I wait till everybody goes to bed. And so um, let's see, I, I guess it was Saturday night. Today's Tuesday, maybe it's Sunday night that I that I tried to post. And I, I set the video to go at like 11 o'clock at, at night and got up the next morning. And it was still uploading. I never had that happen um, and it was like halfway um, so it took for two videos my, my first uh, the set day and then the first check which one was 14 minutes and one was 10 minutes I think so 20 25 minutes worth of video and it took almost 24 hours to get both of those 4k videos uploaded to YouTube uh, so that definitely is a big learning curve and I don't know that it's worth it. I don't know how many of y'all are watching this on, you know, a screen because, I mean, for most people that'd be your TV screen is about the only thing. That's for us. I mean, the TV screen is the only thing that you can see it in 4K. So for yesterday and today, uh, I've dropped it back to just HD. But uh, that was definitely, I was pretty pumped up and excited about, um, you know, shooting in 4K. Um, but unless we get until and unless we get some faster internet, which I, I would gladly uh, pay for some faster internet, but we don't have that option just yet. Um, but un until we get there, unless y'all are just dying for 4K video, I'm probably going to keep doing just HD and be able to make my post in a few hours versus a day. <laughs> so anyway, just thought, I don't know if any of y'all ever post I know I get some people that uh, send me a message or something about how they posted on uh, you know they posted a, a video on YouTube or something like that so just a heads up I know the 4k is still a you know a relatively new thing but there's a lot of programming and stuff that's being shown in 4k but unless you're got yeah, fiber optic internet or some really fast internet don't be too hopeful because it's gonna take a while for that thing to upload but anyway that's all I got we're supposed to get some, maybe get some snow coming in tonight, uh, some real cold weather. So hopefully, game's moving right now, and uh, everything will be moving on the 
front side of this front that's coming through because it's, it's in the uh, high 40s right now. It's not too terribly cold, but it's supposed to drop off in the 20s tonight. So that front's going to come through and, and drop everything and change everything pretty drastically. So hopefully stuff's moving and we'll have a good run on the line tomorrow. Y'all have a good night.